हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी शैल लर्न अबाउट द इंटरोगेटिव सेंटेंसेस लुक एट दीज सेंटेंसेस एंड स्पीक आफ्टर मी वॉट इज योर नेम वेर डू यू लिव Which is your favorite color? Who is your best friend? Are you going to the market? Did you do your homework? What did you notice while speaking these sentences? Yes, you are right. That these all are questions so we can say that the sentences that ask questions are called interrogative sentences they always end in a question mark interrogative sentences are of two types first is wh questions and second is yes or no questions as the name indicates wh questions begin with question words such as what who why when where which how etc now speak the following questions after me please note that voice modulation plays a very important role in an effective communication now let's speak these questions what is your father's name when does your birthday fall where is your school why did you not go to school today You must have noticed that all these questions are wh questions. Now look at the other type of interrogative questions which are yes or no questions. It is very clear from the name itself that the answer of these questions can be either a yes or no. These types of questions begin with words like is are do have can etc here are some examples please repeat after me have you done your homework could you give me a pen are the children playing in the park is this a new book You must have noticed that these all are yes or no questions and they don't require answers in a statement form. Let us know what are question tags. Sometimes we make a statement about something we are not fully assured. To make things clear, we need the approval of the listener. It is in this situation that we add short questions to the statements these short questions are known as question tags now what is required to make a question tag we need a verb and a pronoun question tags are never made from nouns one thing we should keep in mind that positive statements have negative question tags and negative statements have positive question tags let us see the following examples please repeat after me he isn't coming is he you don't have any book do you you are right aren't you she is watching a movie isn't she 
Now, did you notice the question tags in all the given sentences? Yes, you are right. The question tags are, is he, do you, aren't you, and isn't she. We also see that a comma separates the statement from the question tag and a question mark is put after the question tag. Let us see how to change declarative sentences into interrogative sentences. Here are some examples. He is a rich man. Is he a rich man? He can sing. Can he sing? The children are jumping. Are the children jumping? Here we can see that when we change declarative sentences into interrogative sentences, the position of the helping verb is interchanged with the subject. As in example 1, he is a rich man changes to is he a rich man? Similarly, in the second sentence, he can sing changes to can he sing? And in the third sentence, the children are jumping changes to are the children jumping? Note that a question mark is always put at the end of the interrogative sentences. Please pay attention to these sentences and speak them after me. He speaks good English. Does he speak good English? They live in England. Do they live in England? Please notice the pronunciation of England. It is not England. It is England. And the last sentence is, she ran very fast. Did she run very fast? Please see that in all these sentences, there are no auxiliary verbs like is, am, are, can, etc. And when such declarative sentences are transformed into interrogative sentences, do or does is used at the beginning of the sentence if the sentence is in simple present. And if the sentence is in simple past, did is used at the beginning of the sentence. Look at the following sentences and please notice that how sometimes the statements sound like a question by voice modulation and our way of speaking. Let us understand this with the help of these two examples. First is, you have done your assignment. When we say this, it means that the work is done. But when we say, you have done your assignment, the difference is that here it sounds as if a question has been asked and the speaker is not sure if the work has been done. Similarly, if we say, Mr. Sharma is a doctor. This means that speaker knows that Mr. Sharma is a doctor. But when we say, Mr. Sharma is a doctor, here it sounds like a question as if the speaker is not sure that Mr. Sharma is a doctor. Now recap. In this module we learnt what are interrogative sentences, types of interrogative sentences, question tags and transformation of declarative sentences into interrogative sentences. In the next module, we shall learn about imperative sentences.